The new version of AnimCraft, AnimCraft 5.0 is here and it brought with it a bunch of exciting new features. It was originally released in 2020 as a new tool for building reusable animation libraries with the possibility to transfer animations between characters and a range of different DCC applications such as Maya, Cinema 4D, Blender, Unity and Unreal Engine. And the software works with great characters by ingesting keyframes, retargeting them to new characters, and exporting the data in a native format of the DCC application in addition to game engines. And AnimCraft 5.0, the latest iteration of the software, brought with it a lot of major updates aimed at enhancing the efficiency and the quality of animation workflow. First of all, the update includes an AI-based fully-body markerless motion capture system. In addition to a real-time facial mocap for Max and a new option for editing meta-human characters in addition to other stuff. So the main feature in AnimCraft's new update is the AI-based markerless motion capture system. This new tool can extract full body motion from a single video of any format, length, and size. So basically, you can import the motion of any character rig supported by AnimCraft, including ADV, biped rigs, and any FBX skeleton. From what I can see, the tool will eliminate the need for any equipment or external tools. And the system also works locally with high-speed GPU-based computing which is GPU accelerated via CUDA on NVIDIA GPUs. And with this, I think you can say goodbye to uploading times and waiting for queues of your files to be processed. But the usage, unfortunately, is capped at 365 minutes of footage per year, after which you have to buy the top-up package to process more videos. As for the ones with the AtomCraft license, you will receive several hundred minutes of free mocap time annually, which is great. In addition, it offers a complete suite of tools including foot locking, full body IK, non-linear editing, retargeting, and more. And the system only supports footage from a single camera and of a single actor, because any more than that and you will start to have some problems. Additionally, you have to remember to keep everything in the frame for a better experience, although the option to capture multiple actors simultaneously is probably coming soon. And Max users got some new features. Now, with the real-time facial mocap feature, you can use your iPad or iPhone to capture facial expressions in real time and instantly apply them to the character rig. Those captured facial animations can be also applied to any characters which can be rigged by AnimCraft universally. The real-time facial mocap comes with data processing and cleaning. For cleaning the captured facial data, removing noise, and only keeping the important facial expression data. But unfortunately, the real-time facial mocap is only available to iPhones and iPad users only. And by the way, the advanced facial rigging gives you the ability to adjust and add expressions according to what you will need. With the newly added custom expression controllers, you can achieve more personalized expression control. In addition, the new customizable bone points allow you to control the specific part of the model with more ease, getting more subtle animation results, which is necessary in a lot of cases. And these custom bone points can be bound to rig controllers, enabling interactive control of model deformation. And as for Maya users, some quality of life upgrades have been added to make your work seamless and easier. Let's start with the optimization of the import and export functions. Now you can get rid of the tedious and repetitive mapping because advanced skeleton rigs can be imported directly and exported with seamless zero operation workflow which will greatly enhance the efficiency of the workflow and as a maya user you also got some advanced facial rigging upgrades where it is possible to allocate bone positions for the areas around the eyes and mouth and you can do that automatically and achieve automated initial weight distribution based on the model's topology and with this the efficiency while rigging will be improved greatly. The MetaHuman editing tool has also saw some upgrades, and it is now supporting real-time mirror preview and batch mirror expression. You can also now work without the need to save and update each expression separately, and this feature has been rewritten to make it faster and improve the workflow's efficiency. It also offers extended compatibility with the latest version of RBF deformation tools. Also now, model data such as facial model point positions data, skinning data, and bend shape data can be now written into DNA files, 
providing more comprehensive production support. And the last two features for this update include a one-click conversion of the Animcraft base facial rig between Maya and Max, and an upgrade for 3ds Max's set keyframe to Maya's characters. The first feature brings a full Animcraft facial rig conversion between Max and Maya. This means effortless and smooth facial rig conversion, whether from Max to Maya or from Maya to Max, once you set up your facial rig with the Animcraft rigging tool. The second one allows you to directly import keyframes to characters, enhancing animation production flexibility. In addition, you have newly added IK and FK controllers, which allow you to more precisely control characters' movements and poses. And there you have it guys. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.